Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Good morning, good, good morning, good morning, good morning. Look at God. Look at God. God woke me up this morning, everybody. Sticks in charge, which is me. I'm in the house, feeling good from the Lord to the tutor. Don't have anything to complain about. If I did, I know you don't care. And if I did, no one's listening. And if I did, I need to solve it. Guys, the time is 5.46 a.m. And I want you guys to know that I am up, getting my day started for work. I'm teleworking. And I think I'm gonna sit outside on my patio this morning, you guys, before I start my actual work day. Oh, I got vinegar in the glass. I'm gonna put some water in here. Hold on, guys, hold on. You guys know I drink vinegar and water every morning. At least I try to. But sometimes I'll be slacking off. It happens. Oh, I'm gonna rest you right here. Can you see, you can see me. I just wanna like, cue up my laptop, my work laptop. Get my vitamins. Let me log in right now to my job. Let's log in you all and get this day started. Because today is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm feeling so good. Let me let, send an email and let everybody know that I am online, ready to rock a macaroni, cheese, and roll. So here's the email right here. Reply all. Let everybody know that I'm online. Don't bother me today because I'm not answering any questions. Unless it's, you give me a time off of work or give me a big bonus then you can call me anytime about that, right? Do you all agree? And I hope you guys are out there, babe. 8624, okay, good morning. So that email is sent. So I have officially signed in everybody. All right, so let's drink some vinegar and water and take our vitamins like we're supposed to, sorry. I'm moving you gallons around. I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. I gotta go back here and get this video to release this morning, y'all, so that you have something to look at. And on TikTok, one of my viewers want me, well, excuse me, followers, want me to do a red beans and cornbread um, video. And I said, sure, coming right up. And I'm gonna do it. So, I already got black eyed peas cooked in the um, freezer. So guys, let me show you something. So guys, here, look, I got, here, here are my black beans, or here are my red beans, I'm gonna take these out. So I got, I got lentils, pinto beans, and I got some more kidney beans and black beans back there. And behind those, I have black eyed peas and great northern beans. Hold on. My beans out of order. So the pinto beans, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, those are black eyed peas, great northern beans. Okay, I put the pinto beans on top of those. And then I got black beans. So the black beans need to be together. Let's put the black beans together. Oh, I put all my beans together, y'all. I just like stuff in order. You all know how anal I am. Then we can put both these lentils on top of these beans. I do keep a lot of beans in my house, y'all, because on this vegan journey, that's my source of protein, okay? So let's close the door up. And I'm gonna put the red beans right here. I'm gonna cook those. I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna cook those probably tomorrow. Let's go over here in the library. You guys, life is so beautiful. I know it's dark. Give me a sec. I gotta come back to my library, you all. Let me turn the light on for you. Hold up.
So I'm logging in right now. Hold on. Good. No voice from mail messages. That's always a good thing. So how are you guys doing this morning? I paid some bills yesterday. You guys have finished my um, home budget yesterday. I can't bring you over here because I have tax client stuff on the floor. So I'm uh, got to wrap that up. So hopefully I got the information that I need. I'm, I'm going to get this video ready for release this morning, you all. I am going to do it. So let's go to my channel. Let's do manage videos. And let's see, where's my, oh, here it is. Is that the right number? Yep, that's right. So let's turn on my monetization. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on, let me put my client stuff up. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing just so that you can follow along with me, everybody. Hold on. Let me grab you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, everybody, this is what I'm doing. So you see this, so this is my channel right here. So you see my video, Zen Sunday 72. As you can see, monetization is off. So I'm about to turn it on right now. So you click the button, you click on, then you click next. And for YouTubers, what you do is when you go into YouTube, um, my video does not have any cursing in it. So I'm gonna click down this drop down and select the first option. And as you can see, um, save for ads. That's how I get paid, everybody. So it says right here, how you how how you rated your video overall, save for ads. That means it's fully eligible. Um, YouTube premium, other two, other YouTube revenue like merchandise. So this is how we get paid. So there's a lot of cursing in your video. You are hurting your money. So as you can see right now, the uh, monetization is green. I'm going to show you an example when the video has a lot of vulgar language in it. Hold on. These are all my videos. Let me scroll down. I'm going to show you an example. Hold on. Let me find one. I'll be right back. So here's an example of this video. So this video called Raw Oysters when I was acting crazy at the National Harbor. Because I use profanity in that video, it says limited. And then add suitability. So when it says restrictions, so this column is um, visibility, monetization, and restrictions. So if I scroll down the same thing, the restrictions on this video, I mean, the video is uh, monetized, but it's limited. But the restriction says add suitability. Okay. So monetization is set to limited and restrictions is add suitability. So I'm not fully able to get the full amount of money that I could make had I not been cursing on this video. So let's go back to where I was. There's some other stuff I got to do to this video to get it ready for release. Okay. So I'm back on this video. So now my video is set to private. I'm going to keep it on private or non-publish until I'm finished everything that I want for this video. So as you can see on this video, I already have my thumbnail done and I have my title. So when I click on this pencil thing, I click on details, everybody. So this is where you put in your title, your descriptions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix my end screen. So on this screen, which is video detail screen, I'm gonna go here and click on end screen. And I always pick this one right here. Click end screen right here. And then it drops the end screen towards the end of my video. And I go to the top and just hit save. That brings it back to the main screen. On the main screen, I am gonna go over, um, hold on, let's go back. I'm gonna go back to my prior video. Oh, hold on. That's a new video too. Let's go back to one. Um, okay, here's one. Sorry, you guys. I'm gonna grab all this. 
and just copy it. Instead of me typing this crap, just do highlight, do control C, and then go back to your video and click where you want to be and just do control V. And that paste everything you want to paste in your video without retyping everything. So as you can see in my description box, by the way, I am going to revise my description box because I've been so busy. I'm going to polish this up and be more informative. But I give you more information about the video and some other things that's going on. So as you can see, I need to finish up my this. I need to finish up my description. And right here it says, you can also follow me on the media platforms listed below. So there's my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok um, addresses. Then I put, I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching my videos. So I'm gonna scroll down and this is key. So when you get down here, so my videos are not made for kids. So I put, no, it's not made for kids. When I click on show more, um, I also check this box, altered content. None of my content is altered, so I say no. This is fairly new for um, YouTube. They just started this not too long ago. So, and then tags, they say it really doesn't um, do anything to, to your videos, but I still put tags in mine anyway. So let me put some tags in, and then I'm going to show you once I'm finished, okay? Hold on. Okay, those are the tags I put in for this video. I put in Zen Sunday, drinking red wine, lighting incense, good vibes, relaxing on patio, working from home. You just put whatever, whatever you want in here. And then I'm going to go up here and click save. Now, one thing I do want to show you is like right now, I click save. If you highlight the title, right, what I'm doing like right now. You can right mouse click and write with capital lot. So this is like AI. So AI helps you to rewrite your title. Sometimes I do accept their changes. Sometimes I do not. So my title is not that long. So right now it wants to say Zen Sunday 72, unwinding after extensive work. I like that title better. So I'm going to hit replace. That replaces the title I had before. See it? I'm going to hit save again. Now I'm going to put hashtags in my video. So a hashtag is you do a space and then you do the pound sign. Okay. Hold on. Um, let me see if I can do it. So if I do hashtag like that, if I do like FYP, which a lot of us do, that means for your pleasure and sorry to close. Um, I picked the first one because it has the, I shall do the FYP. I'll do that one. Okay. I'm going to add some more hashtags in and then I'll be right back. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So here is my new title, Zen Sunday 72, unwinding after extensive work. And then those are the hashtags that I use, by the way. Your title and your hashtags cannot be more than 100 characters. So as you can see, I have 97 out of 100 characters. So you still can't see that's kind of blurry. Is that better? Zen Sunday 72, unwinding after extensive work. And those are different hashtags, FYP, for your pleasure. Sunday, morning, life, lifestyle, and viral video. And then once I click save, it's going to save the video. So all my changes are saved. So if I go back to my content page, this video is ready for release. I release my videos at 6.30 a.m. every morning. At least I try to, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. I got two other videos I need to um, prep for release. So I'll be right back, all right? Okay, buddy. I got my videos ready. So I have four videos in the bank that I can use this week. Plus, I'm filming this video. Also, I'm going to release one video this morning. Oh, let me grab my tripod. I'm going to do another video on um, YouTube. But I got to figure out something else first. By the way, there's some things I can do on my laptop for YouTube that I can't seem to figure out how to do on my cell phone. 
some actions in YouTube. I don't see it available on the phone. At least I don't know how to access it. Let me say it that way. So let's see. Let me go back and fix this. Guys, I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm on the patio. I'm off the clock. You guys, I had a very, very good day. A very busy day. I'm out here getting a suntan because, and it's hot as hell out here. And tomorrow I gotta go in the office. So tomorrow I'll be up at four o'clock in the morning to go to work with y'all. And I'm drinking cocoa, I'm gonna kill you. I said, take this bottle home. I'm on a vegan journey. This is not vegan, but it's, you know, comforting. Oh my God. This, while I'm sitting on it, it's hot. And you know I ain't got much cushion back there. I'm burning my balls. Hold on. Let me make some shit. Let me shift some stuff around. This thing is hot. You guys, I'm telling y'all something. I, when I tell you guys I have so much fun, I enjoy my job, I love my job. I don't caught up a lot of videos. There's still some videos I gotta catch up on. I'm gonna get there. But when I, but here's the thing, I normally catch up, that this past weekend I couldn't do it because I, Saturday, I spent time, my full-time job. And then Sunday, but you know what happened on Sunday? They're all day um, live. Stuff just happens, everybody. You guys, I'm so thankful. And guys, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for your life. Just be thankful for, for whatever whatever's going on in your life. Just be thankful because it could be, but a, it could be a but, or maybe, or this is this is what it is. So I'm very thankful. I'm so happy. I was telling, um, you know, I tell a lot of people at this age, um, when you get older, the phone gonna stop ringing. People are gonna stop texting. So stop saying, no, you don't have time. You can't do it. I've done that. I still do it. It's just that I can't physically, physically leave my house because of my job. But, you know, it's all good. I got to have my family over here, y'all, do a cookout. We talked about it, but we haven't done it yet. Excuse me. I can't stay out too long because it's hot out here. I don't know if this cell phone's going to overheat. But the wind is blowing. It's breezy out here. Let's get the umbrella. Hold on. Stay there. Guys, I got scared as hell. Cause they no wasp nest up in here. That's good. Hold on, put it down, son. Keep my phone, my phone. Move it over, son. Hold on. Okay. This should keep my phone cool. Oh, guys. So I was watching some videos today. People are shouting me out. I have not watched their videos in a minute. So I'm gonna give the respect back. I'm gonna give a shout out to Miss Queen Ray Renee. I'm gonna give a shout out to the Real Lady Red. I'm gonna give a shout out to Big Belly Bob, Miss Sharon Eats, um, MRTV and Cowboy, Vicky's World. Who am I missing? Tristan Bell. Um. Oh, um. I don't know. If she gave me a shout out, but it don't matter. But I do want to give a special, 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 special shout out to um, Nadira Yasmin. She's the first YouTuber that I had any kind of communication with. So I got to give props where props is due. So thank you, Nadira Yasmin. I really appreciate you. Um, and I love your video. I caught up on her videos, everybody. I'm caught up. I watch all her stuff. And guys, guess what? So in my community, one of my neighbors, I won't say who, 
we have a special day dedicated to my, my neighbor and we did not do it this year. So I have to bring my neighbor over here and do a special, every year in my house, we do something special for my neighbor. Um, and we missed this year. Well, not we, but I did. So I got to do something special for her. I know what she likes. I already said the pronoun, she. I got to invite some neighbors over here. I'm going to have my neighbor invite our other neighbors. Uh, whoever she wants over here. And I'm going to do a nice spread for them. For them. You guys, are you enjoying your life? If you're not, why? I smell musk. It ain't mean. I smell like, it smell musty. I ain't gonna lie, in my 20s you on, oh, I have, I had funky punks real bad. Vicky, I was not a funky zombie, I was a horrible, deceased, funky, 40,000 years kind of scent kind of zombie. When you get older, it dies down. My neighbors have been in my house. I've gone three days without bathing. They hug me and everything. I said, listen, I ain't shave. I didn't bathe or shave. I do shave. They said, Charles, we don't smell anything. But I, I do got to take care of my teeth. Because, you know, you're a drinker. You got to um, brush your teeth. Hey, guys. Hold on. Is someone come behind? Oh, I can see that in the camera. If a deer come up behind me and charge me, y'all. Oh, my Lord. It's going to. It's going to scare that. You know what I mean? So guys, today, so I did this vlog earlier in the day. So, hold up. I hear something. Why's that branch going back and forth? Guys, uh-uh. This is better than Friday the 13th. Guys, look. I'm, I, listen, y'all think I'm, listen, I'm black. Look, hold on. You all see that branch right there? Hold on. Who, look, see the branch, see that leaf right there? Why is it going back and forth? It ain't nobody back there. So why is it moving like that? Why? Oh, now it stopped. Oh, don't get it twisted. I will go in, I don't get the shit twisted. I will, I'll oh, slide it back. Don't get it twisted. I will run in that house. You can have the backyard. It's moving again. Nobody's back there. Okay. Guys, my grass looks so good, but it's hot again. But I think it's supposed to rain. Oh, guys, my grass, it looked like golf course grass. You guys, I spent so much money on my yard every year. I, I, I want to do something here at my house before this year ends. Because, you know, guys, we don't know what's going to happen. Enjoy your home. I keep always preaching on my channel. Enjoy your home. And, guys, stop looking at people's houses, how they felt looks. Who cares about that? And I always tell people, enjoy your home. I don't care if your patio or deck's falling apart. But it's falling apart, be careful, be, be safe. But just sit in your yard. You get out, sit in your backyard and just enjoy. Turn my glasses off, I don't look cute. No, I, I'm a firm believer in that. Well, I didn't have this pattern here, you guys. I sat right here in front of my basement sliding glass door with my lawn chair in a yard. Me and my friends came over. We had a cooler right here and it was drinking our drinks, just looking out in the woods, just talking, playing music. Cause you guys know I got a, a speaker on my patio. It's portable, I can bring it out here, I can keep it in the house. Oh my Lord, this umbrella's moving. It won't go nowhere though. Yeah, so I'm a firm believer, you know, enjoy, guys, seriously, enjoy your home, whether it's inside or outside. Enjoy, I'm not going to say family, enjoy the relationships you have with other human beings. And your pets, you got pets. I had a dog, I love my dog when I had her. You got a pet, bring your pets outside, y'all. Spend time, L love your family, 
your friends, your pets, whomever, your home, I don't care. Guys, listen to the wind. See the trees moving behind me? Guys, this is, I cannot wait for the fall. Oh my God, you guys, I have not lit this fire pit yet. Can't tell you too much. You know I like to shop. <laughs> But I'm, I'm gonna definitely christen this fire pit. And the fire pit, you guys, you can grill on it. I never unveiled it to you all, but I covered it up for a reason. So you can grill on it. Um, there's so much stuff you can do on this. And guys, I'm gonna tell you, when I tell you I enjoy my house, I'm not sure what God has in store for me or what his plans are, but I, I am gonna be thankful for, for what I have. For the little bit that I have, I am very thankful. I'm very thankful. That's all I gotta say. Be appreciative and be thankful. You guys, I ain't got much cushion in the backside. I feel like my prostate is on fire because this thing is hot. Sorry for the TMI, but this is fixing and charge channel. That's what I do. I'm a TMI person. This wall out here. Oh my God, the hot, this, this hot, the, the sun heating it up. You guys, I still got some crazy videos coming you all way. I do. But the full time job just gets in the way of stuff. Let me stop using that word, getting away. The full-time job is a priority because that's what takes care of everything in my house. So let me say that, change your attitude. Don't sit up here and complain about that job. That job is making ends meet and it's paying for your food and your shelter, your clothes. Don't say that. Cause there are a lot of people, especially during COVID who lost their job. Or maybe you lost your job and you found something and you're able to make ends meet. So learn to be appreciative in whatever life deals your way. I know some people um, have a harsh life. I never grew up that way. I don't know what a harsh is. Well, we all have harsh life, but harsh is different from different people. Some people really have a harsh life. Never experienced that, never went through it. Never had it. And I thank God. And the one thing I will say is, one of my close friends died. Many, way, way, way before COVID. I think he died in my mid-30s. Maybe early 30s. I remember a preacher saying that, don't judge brother so-and-so. Because I, I do believe God placed people and they place different things. God does place different things in people's life or their path because God knows they can handle it. That's how the preacher preach at his funeral. Some people can handle certain things. Some people can. You know, I'm not sure how I would respond to or react to a situation where um, I've been violated or stricken with something. I'm not sure how, how I would handle that. I think I would, well, I don't know. I, well, I don't know. We can always say what we think we can handle, but really you can't handle it until you actually go through it. You no, know, you might can handle it, but we don't know how you're going to respond to stuff until you actually go through it. And I hope I never go, well, at this age, well, I don't know. Things, this world is crazy. For my home, to your home, salute. Vicky, Maria, CJ and Sharice, get on that patio. Oh, Big Belly Bob and Miss Shan, get on that patio. And Tristan Bell, get out there. Enjoy that patio. I'm sitting, you guys, when I keep telling y'all, get out your house and enjoy the outdoors. Now, I'm vitamin D deficient, but... I do love outdoors. I love it. 
Now in the fall, you're gonna see more on my channel because that's when the turn is gonna happen on, because right this year has been extra dry, extra hot. And I want to, well, I'm not gonna say too much because it's plan, planning in the background. I do want, I love to entertain everybody. I would not ever do a big party, not, not in my house, because I've done that, been there, done that. I do know that this COVID thing is gonna rise, so I'm very cognizant of that. Never had COVID. Mm -mm. I don't go nowhere. Guys, look, when you get old, look at, look at, look at, look at the veins in my hand. Can y'all see that? No, hold up. You can't see it. Guys, it's gonna rain. I wanted it to rain. It's supposed to rain this weekend, I think. Guys, I need a suntan. It's been so hot. I have, look, look, guys, look at my arm. I'm so light. Normally, I'm darker than this. Look, look, look at this. Y'all see this? I'm light. Hey, you know what, guys? Sort of. You know how, uh, how the bottom of your feet and your on the top of your feet is different colors? No, mine is, I'm going to show you mine the same color. I love being dark. Maria, in the corner. Every time, listen, you in that damn lawnmower. The, the, I, I, there's a small air behind my house, everybody. The planes, why the small airplane so damn loud? I don't get it. Guys, I love being single. And what's that song by, um, what's that group? I'm living a single, single life. Strange. No, not strange. That she's strange. No, cameo. That's my alma mater. I love me some cameo. You know, I love Cameo. I should play that for go to bed tonight. Guys, I gotta get up at four o'clock in the effing morning. Yes, I do. I love Cameo. But see, I'm old school. All the old school folk, we, we understand that kind of stuff. We really do. You know, guys, I know some of y'all YouTubers. I do want to join the memberships. I want to support. But this year has been so different. I don't understand what's going on this year. I'm like, it's, it's issue after issue. It's like, it's, it's too much. And I'm cheap. That's a lie. I ain't cheap. I am cheap. But I'm not cheap. But if I join a membership, I want to get my money's worth. I really do. So, 2025, I'm going to definitely join some memberships. Because I do. Now, I, now, I would have never thought I would have gone live on YouTube. I don't like lives. To this day, I like lives, but I don't like it. Because I had to read the chat. If I go live, I need somebody here to read the chat. Because that's not... You know, I don't know. I guess it's my first live. I gotta get used to it. I was reading the chat, but I'm like, it's too much. Like on a camera, I can be mobile and move around. But when you go live, you gotta be engaging. And I, I always said this, if I go live, I must engage with my audience. Now me personally, I'd rather be face to face. Um. This year, again, has been so different. Oh, August, there will be a meeting with in person. Um, I want to do, I think after next weekend, you all, a lot of stuff will be done. Let me just say it that way. So uh, there's a place I have in mind. I am going to post it on my community page. So if you're in the DMV, DC, Maryland, or Virginia, 
please come out and see your boy. You know. And you don't have to go on camera. I don't have to do no, no clout. I don't do clout stuff, everybody. I respect people's privacy. So you come out and you see me. I'm going to ask you first. Do you want to get on camera? If you don't, hey. I respect the fact that you subscribe and watch my videos. You know, that's how I feel. Because that Walston didn't come back yet. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I'm I'm scared to see when I uncover this crap. Oh, the fall is when I come on the patio. Spring and fall, I'm out here. This past spring, I'm not sure what happened. I don't think I came out here. And it all depends on the weather. If it's too hot, who wants to be on outside? Well, I, I the heat don't bother me. You guys, I got a big ass umbrella over this table. I can see six people over here. I can move the umbrella. Wait, well, I got four chairs over here. This umbrella is for the chairs. I think I should get one more umbrella for this uh, fire pit area. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. So when people come out to my patio, they come, you know, they comfortable. Planes back at Maria in the corner. Maria in the corner. Oh my God, look how light I am. Guys, life, life is good. Hey guys, let me tell you something about life. When I, people say life is good, it's relative. It's not how you may be perceiving it. When somebody's life is good, they still got issues. I got issues. I'm going through some financial issues right now. Not like you think it is. And we're going to talk about that in the upcoming video. Not like that. Um, I, I think I shared in one video while I was fighting with this damn house. But we're going to talk about it. So when I say I have financial issues, not like you think it is, it's just watch the next video. You're going to see. As a homeowner, homeowners go through a lot of stuff, everybody. You like, I keep telling you all, don't buy these big A homes. It comes with a price tag. A healthy price tag. And... I want to get everything done before I retire. I do. But some things that I can, but put things in, pro, even if you're not a homeowner, put your life in priority. That's all I got to say. You guys, I'm going in this house because this, this thing right here I'm sitting on is hot. I'm not sure what the time is, but. I'm getting my life. I really am. I want you to guys, guys, get outside. Enjoy this weather. Because even though it's hot outside, go outside in the sun. I want to go outside in the sun. I can't sing. No, I can't sing. I, I can sing a little bit. When I drink, it messes my, my voice up. I'm trying to get my one of my close friends, Jay, to get on camera and sing something. He won't do it. He'll do it, but he can't be drinking. He sound like Johnny Gill, you all. He can really, really, really blow. God has blessed him with a talent. I'm working on him. I'm trying to tell him how to take that voice and make some money off of it. But you know, it's so funny. People like me, I, I'm business minded. If I could sing, oh, I'm gonna make it work. Then you got people, God has blessed them with so much talent. They don't, they, they let it go to waste. Isn't it how, isn't it funny how life works? The talented people, they don't realize how talented they are. And the ones with no damn talent, we got it up here. We, we, we gonna make some money out of it. They don't, now, some people, they know what to do with it. So, ain't gonna lie. I got some friends, they are so talented. They're, well. they're doing very well with their talent. But then I got friends who are very talented. I'm like, but you can do so much more with that talent. Don't let it waste away. 
I don't know. Guess my feet are jacked up. They run to the left, the right. They going forward. They got to get in back, going backwards. I'm gonna show y'all my 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 effed up feet. I'm gonna show what color they are. Hold on, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you. Y'all asses knows it. Look, look, y'all. Look at my feet. Can you see the? Can you tell the bottom from the top of my feet? Look right on the side. You cannot tell. Look at my toes. Toes are jacked. Look, these Joes are macaroni and cheese running to the left and the right. They jacked the hell up. You see right here, where am I saying? I, the guys, I'm very light skinned. I wish I was dark skinned. I keep telling you guys, in my house, uh, we talked about race, black race in my house. And that was the matter of fact, the guy you saw in my video, Jay, we had a serious because you know, we, we talk about serious stuff when, when we're not clowning on the camera. You know, sometimes on the camera, you all with your friends, you got to have conversations where it's not for everybody's ear, for eyes to see and witness. We talked about about race in the, the black race specifically, and I, I had no idea. I'm thinking that we all. You know, experience the same things. It was an eye opening. It was very eye opening. That's all I gotta say. And I, I wish people could be honest about themselves and who they are. I'm o I'm so open minded. I don't care if a racist person say they hate black people. That's fine. Explain to me why do you hate black people? Because you know what. Because I want to, I want to, you I want to understand. I want to overstand it. I think, let people speak, but they got to speak. Like, what, why do you hate us so much? Because I want to give people, I want to hear their say. I don't get why somebody's racist against another, another well, I, yes I do, let me stop lying. I do get it. Because some people grew up in a sheltered environment where they preach that behavior and then other people like me be like you don't care what you do i, I was raised open-minded everybody my mother raised us to make our own decision but, but keep in mind i'm older our generation my generation is different from what i see today it's easy for me to say that because i don't have any kids so I, and i think parents with kids well, adults with kids. Even though I don't understand it, but I will respect it. I will respect it. Let me say it that way. Because you know what? When we came up, there was no talking back. I'm, I'm from the old school. You look like you're going to say something wrong. Oh, you're going to get back at it. Oh, quick. Matter of fact, you might not live that night. I wish we went back to that era where I came from, oh, we got beat. Oh my God, my mother was a my mother was a discipliner. And when my mother beat you, it was Mike Tyson. But you know what? I would say this: she instilled values in me. She instilled in me to be a, a better person and not to look down on anybody. And back then, you all, I didn't have nothing. I was just a kid. So as I progress in my life, good, bad, wrong, and different, because you know, I told you I, got, I had a migration in my life. When life happened to me, because life happens to everybody at different levels, and I had to go back to what my mother taught me, I didn't get it back then. I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't overstand it. Hit, hit. I did not, I ain't say understand. I did not overstand it. To me, when you understand something means you don't get it. So my, my people, my age group, don't stop saying understand, say overstand. Let's use the word overstand. Cause we, we understand means you haven't lived that. You gotta go through it to really under, understand it. But once you get the memo, you overstand it. My best friend, she died. I had to call her husband. 
I had to call her husband. Um, I think we judge people too harshly and too fast. I'm one of those people. Now she was very good, but then when, but things change, and then she passed away. You know she's dead now. And I look back, I regret, guys. It's okay to have regrets. You're gonna regret stuff. We gon' we all do it, guys. I'm going to the house. Oh. I done broke a shot glass in my kitchen earlier today. You didn't see it on camera, but I broke a shot glass. See, God works in mysterious way. God said, talk about that. You guys, okay, we're only five minutes. Guys, I'm going to the house. Um, This video gonna be like a, a, a week later because I got a lot of stuff in the bank. But please don't forget to like, share, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Seriously. And check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Get out your comfort zone and get out there. You got to mingle with anybody. If you're scared to be outdoors, now, let's just the health problem. Get outside, you guys. Let me tell you something. The best for me, the best aspect of my life it's me being alone that's my backyard at a park at a restaurant I take myself out to eat i love those days so get out there enjoy your life have fun be at peace with yourself because if you're not at peace with yourself you cannot be at peace and you don't show up peacefully to the world okay so let's say it that way hey guys I was at a place I was so angry at the world because of something I did to myself. So I know what I'm talking about. So I don't care what your situation is. In some situations, you cannot turn it around, but you can turn this around, how you think about that situation. And then some situations you can turn around. Do not let this temporary thing on this earth dictate how you should be and if you need counseling go get counseling everybody i haven't been to, i've never been to counseling but if i was in that scenario i never had nothing bad happen to me everybody i could be clear i had a good life from my childhood up to now i had bad experiences but i had a good life and if you don't understand what i mean by that Drop me a comment. I can elaborate further. I have been very fortunate in my life where I never had that happen to me. But I do learn from people who go through that. And people who go through that, people like me, we should be empath uh, it's an empathetic and sympathetic. I don't know what the word is. I don't know. But I do like to um, not highlight people, but coach them and mentor them, you know. And I can't say I'm sorry because I can't be sorry because I don't feel that scenario. But I, but naturally, we say I'm sorry. You can't be sorry for something that you didn't commit or something that you cannot ever understand because you're not going through it. It's what I'm trying to say. But guys, live your best life. Live your best life. This world is, this life is so tan. It's, it's very tangible, but it's also very precious. It's very delicate. So make sure you take care of you and your loved ones around you because that's what's important. You know, the, the best things in life are free. I don't care how you live, where you live. I don't care if you live in a messed up apartment complex or a room or a house or town, or whatever. Get you a lawn chair and go out Saturday and sit somewhere and just take in God's mercy, God's grace, God's creation, because that's what I do. You know, I, I'm a firm believer. I'm gonna say this one more time, because I said it in many videos. You are preaching your funeral 
as you live this life. You are. So make sure you uh, take, in, take in all of this goodness that he has God. And whatever your God is, mine is Jesus Christ. Whatever your God is, I'm here to judge. Take in all of those things and live your best life. Enjoy life. Because guys, to, we don't, this world, we are changing over to a whole day. America is not exempt from stuff from happening. Things can happen. Let's take that out of the equation. Global warming has destroyed many homes, many livelihoods. Build your memories, build your dreams. Enjoy your home, enjoy your life, enjoy your family, your friends, whatever you know it is. Do not take those things for granted because those things can't be taken for granted just like that. And on that note, in the meantime, in the between time, mind your own damn business. Keep folk out your business. Stop all that damn gossiping. Not good, not cute. All right? And I will see you all in my next video. But until then, unplug from social media and take some, take some deep breaths. Inhale and exhale, you guys. I love you guys. Enjoy your evening. All right?